Hey there, my name is Chase Murphy. I'm a ConnectWise consultant at Proval Tech, and today I want to go over how to deploy agents in the web using the probe when possible. Let's get into it. Uh, so starting out, we're going to make a few assumptions. We're going to assume that you've already set up a network probe at your client and site in Automate. Um, if you don't know what that looks like, here's just a brief overview. When you're on the network probe tab under the deployment area, you have the ability to turn on agent deployment, select different credentials that you can use for agent deployment and ensuring that there's a proper administrative logon, as well as making sure that you have the default agent template deployed or a different template if it suits your environment. You can get to the network probe screen from the network probe data tile in the web control center. Um, once you've set up the probe, then you can head back into that deployment screen and verify all the information. And then you'll be able to head to the network probe, network devices, or missing agents tab, missing agents being my preference. Once you're in here, then you'll be able to see if there's any ready to go agents or not. From there, you can see that all of our current agents are not ready, um, which is pretty normal. First off, you can head into the documentation and they'll give you an idea of what all the different statuses are. Um, the most two important are obviously going to be not ready or ready. Um, there are several reasons why a machine might not be ready to deploy. Uh, the most prevalent is that the probe is currently running as local system. You can actually change that in Automate. So if you head back to the computer management window and you can see the local account option is off here, you can click it. And that'll give you the opportunity to set up a username and password to help deploy that agent so it can reach across the network and have proper credentials to deploy the agent for you. Uh, if you have not done so on your probes, we do recommend getting that set up as it will help get the uh, probe more functionality in your environment. Um, some of the other reasons is that uh, the credentials could have been wrong. So you'd have to go in here, double check your credentials are set up properly. Um, it, if the agent is currently already installed on the device or it was broken at some point, so there's still some registry entries or something left over on that agent, so you might need to go and clean up that device before the probe can push to it. It might be missing a valid version of .NET or the LT silent exe is missing, which means the probe is not going to be able to push that file because it hasn't generated it. If you have not generated that file before, you will need to do so out of the thick client. There's a very simple probe command that is just all about um, reloading that agent and getting the LT sound exe. Uh, so if you have not done that as well, please go ahead and set that up, but it is not something you can do in the web control center today. Uh, but once an agent is showing as ready and you can double check those agents anytime, there are commands in here for setting up the, um, the readiness check and making sure that the ready's, that device is ready to go and as well as deploying the automate agent if you didn't want to have it completely automated with this button down here earlier. Uh, so today that was how you can set up the probe in the web to automatically deploy agents and get around some of the shortcomings um, in the application. Uh, so thank you for watching. We do try to post a new video every week to share our, our knowledge on Automate. Uh, to learn more about what we do, please visit provaltech.com. There is a link in the video in the description below. Thank you very much.